Tipranks two big dividend stocks yielding 10%, RBC says, by soaring commodity prices, additional federal stimulus, and government bond yields on the rise are all raising the specter of inflation. Furthermore, there is growing concern that stocks, and tech ones in particular, are now at valuations disconnected from reality. Is the changing macro climate about to send the bull market into retreat? Too early to tell, but it does signal that a more prudent approach to investing might be a good move right now. And that will bring us to dividend stocks. Investors want a pad, something to protect their portfolio in case of a market drop, and dividends offer just that. These profit-sharing payments to stockholders provide a steady income stream, that typically stays reliable even in a downturn. RBC Capital Analysts have been doing some of the footwork for us, pinpointing dividend-paying stocks that have kept up high yields, just above 10%. Opening up the Tipranks database, we examine the details behind those payments to find out what else makes these stocks compelling buys. Annaly Capital Management NLY, first up, Annaly Capital Management, is a real estate investment trust, right? Annaly holds a portfolio of commercial real estate with a heavy focus on retail 31% and office 29% spaces. Other large investments include multifamily dwellings, hotels, and healthcare properties. The company has over $100 billion total assets. In the company's 4Q20 results, Annaly showed a 5.1% economic return for Q4, far stronger than the 1.8% reported for 2020 as a whole. EPS came in at 60 cents per common share, and more than covered the regular quarterly dividend of 22 cents. This is the third quarter in a row with the dividend at that level, at the annualized rate of 88 cents per common share, the dividend is yielding 10.7%. This is head and shoulder above the approximately 2% yield found among peer companies in the financial sector. Annaly has a long history of adjusting its dividend payment to fit with earnings, making it a reliable payer. Also of interest to investors, Annaly finished Q4 with $8.7 billion in unencumbered assets, including cash on hand. The company used this deep pocket to authorize a $1.5 billion common stock repurchase program, in a move to return capital to shareholders and bolster share prices. RBC's five-star analyst Kenneth Lee likes what he sees in Annaly's performance, writing, We continue to favor Annaly's diversified operating model, strong liquidity and portfolio skew towards agency MBS amid current macro backdrop. Annaly has exposure to growth-oriented, credit assets, including residential and commercial mortgage credit and middle markets lending. We believe diversification should allow NLY to pivot between attractive investment opportunities. In line with these comments, Lee rates NLY and outperform, i.e. buy, along with a $9.50 price target. This figure implies a 14% upside for the year ahead.